as we have a brand new heat just getting started. Heat number five of the afternoon for the men's division. Italo Ferreira takes on Coyote Belly and Jake Marshall. Joe Turpel defending g -Land champ. I guess he can't defend it this time, Luke. So, well, the past champ in 97. <laughs> Uh, representing Seaside Reef and Encinitas, California. A solid, powerful, regular footer that doesn't back down to a challenge as we'll just see some slow scores to start. So he put himself in back of the order for priority, so he's just fishing underneath the rest of the pack. Here comes a world champ, Italo. Beautiful grab rail down carve, setting up the lip. He crushes it in the pocket. Out in front, nice fade and cut back, and he will pull in nicely to the pit. Completes it there. Almost thought he's going to slide out on the raft. Total control through this inside section. It's getting incredibly shallow. There's the fin throw without much water left. Their fearless approach when it comes to shallow sections. We'll go back to the start of that grab rail down carve. Yeah, not only in innovative aerials, but there's some real grassroots. Uh, rail turns going on in the beginning of this wave and then sets himself up for a nice tube. I like this one, pushes through really hard and then comes to the inside. Anyone would have just flicked out about now, but it's a load, no. On to dry reef and uh, goes for the air. This angle is so incredible. Here's that carve, Luke. Love it, straight up into the steep part of the wave. Brings himself around perfectly for another one and gets a variety with a full chop on onto the deep part of this wave and then sets himself up beautifully for a tube. What more could you have done with this wave? And another guy that's going to get a very, very good score, probably into the excellent range on his first ever attempt at a... He's generally pissed when he loses, as we've seen in the past couple of years. He'll really open up as we see him driving down the line on the inside. Big section in front of him, Italo backs, doors that barrel, but ends up going down. We'll celebrate the elite men and women pushing the boundaries of what's possible on a surfboard and reward their skill, their courage, and their commitment. Get all the clips, nominations, and winners on worldsurfleague.com as we come out of the barrel with Italo, right into a big cutty on the open face. He'll stall again, doesn't get barreled, gets the float, and has to starfish right above that shallow reef. What change in that confidence that you can feel when you have a conversation with him these days. He did get spit out of the tube on this last one. And look at that carb, just so confident in his board that it wasn't gonna slide out into another tube, quick off the top and just getting out. Perfectly drives into this little pit, comes out, you watch his snap, just drives it all the way around. I'm really impressed with this start by Italo Ferreira. Backside snap to start. Kaiwa Belly, speed turn to cover some ground and will grab the rail now, slamming on the brakes to get barrel. Here comes the California Jake Marshall. Snap to slide. Readjusting there, Jake will kick out immediately. Finding the right wave has been a little tricky at times. Some of these heats have gone a little bit slow for sets. As we see flawless perfection rolling through here at Money Trees, priority is with Jake Marshall. Jake, 267 start, comboed for the win, so he's looking to get going here. Off the bottom, set up carve there, nice and powerful. Throws it right up through the lip line, big drop down to the bottom and goes down hard. Don't think he took advantage of this wave. I think he's gone too far out on the open face. G-Land is your friend if you keep it super tight. That one wasn't too bad. Comes around, gets another hook, gets held up a little bit there and uh, doesn't make it. But look at the wave further up the point. Maybe these guys should have been a little bit further up the reef for this wave. But uh, yeah, just couldn't keep his rhythm going between b between turns, comes off the bottom nicely. Great bottom turn, this one holds him up a little. But not only did he make the final, but he beat Medina, one of the best ever at pipe, uh, to take out that world title. And the confidence has just increased ever since. Looking at the backhand attack from Kaiwa Belly, he'll get hung up for a moment. Nice connection on that snap, drills it again, and just keeps that swipe going down the line. Stays on his feet. 
for what's looking like his best number so far. Still needs two new scores to take out this man with priority with a set coming through. 2019 world champ pulls in under the hood. Enjoying that beautiful vision out without a not, not a problem. Sets up another big hollow section. Italo standing tall in the pit. Here G Land. Did he bite off too much in the pit? He did. And he will go down. But at least he got one of the better visions of the day and with a healthy lead out in front. But look at this beautiful open face, dragging the arm in the tube. Pretty good timing on the first one, comes out, goes for a nice check carve to get ready for the next part in the tube one more time. And then just here he starts to stall a little bit and it just gets him stuck. Here's the first part, nice stall there by Italo, coming out perfectly. Great little check fade, and here's where it all went wrong. He just pulled in again. Maybe would have been better off doing a turn as that last section just got a little bit tight. Important the reefs are around these parts as we get right back into action. This goofy foot's having a heyday out here. Italo Ferreira doesn't even need numbers at the moment, but he can't help himself. Oh, guaranteed to win. He'd still just surf till the horn as we see a snap to start here for Jake Marshall. A lot of water off that rail. Hammers it with a bit of a slide. Down car for Marshall, looking for another big section. Airdrop off the lip line. Nice arcing turn. He'll down carve through this inside section where it gets incredibly shallow. He's out of there. Nice complete ride for Jake, his best so far with 9.45 to go. Comes around this section, great bottom turn out of the lip. Sets up this hollow one in the lip one more time with some great spray pushing on the tail pad and getting some variety on that one by pushing the tail out and getting a little bit of slide. Coming on the inside, hits the lip. That was a tricky uh, lip to hit and finishing it off, linking some nice turns down on the end section. It's got to feel good for Jake Marshall to get one under his belt. As you can see, the waves just peeling off in the distance. We'll watch this one now from the California Jake Marshall. Quick snap to start, he'll stretch this one out for a bit. Looking for something to work with, he ends up just kicking out. He'll stay in second, first priority still with Kayo, with 5.30 to go. Jake Marshall and Kaio Belly will be sent to the elimination round to try to survive and avoid an equal 17th and stay in paradise a bit longer. We're going to take a quick break. Coming up next, we'll have heat number six. Kanoa Garashi takes on Griffin Colapinto and Matty McGillivray right after this.